Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. So today we're going to be doing a quick little highlight on Heroes of Mavia, which if you guys have been, you know, watching the channel, you know that it is, you know, kind of one of my top mobile gaming projects in all of crypto gaming. One that I have strong conviction on that we've been tracking, you know, for years now. They've been building ever since the kind of the, towards the end of the last cycle. So they're all bear market. I'll give you guys my opinion on why I'm bullish on Heroes of Mavia and a bullish catalyst that's coming to the ecosystem very, very soon and where I think Heroes of Mavia could go. So if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming and kind of, you know, want to be up to date in the whole space, the whole narrative as a whole, see what projects are doing what, uh, you know, what my opinion is personally on certain projects that I think might outperform the rest of the market. Uh, as always, nothing I say is financial advice, but if you get value out of that kind of stuff, if you guys can subscribe to the channel and like the video, your support means everything. So if we take a look at Heroes of Mavia, we can see that over the seven day, it is down 30 or yeah, 31% which is pretty aggressive. Granted, though, we have had kind of a market shift over the last couple of days. You know, Bitcoin is struggling to kind of maintain over 70K right now. Uh, and we see that Heroes of Mavia is trading at about $82 million in circulating market cap. So, uh, you know, we've seen, if we go to the all chart, you know, Heroes of Mavia did launch uh, in February of this year, 2024. You know, it launched around these prices about the, you know, right, actually right where you see it right now uh, to the public open public market and then shot up over ten dollars uh which i think put us at a market cap of about 300 million so obviously if we go down to the all-time high we're about 78 percent down from its all-time high earlier this year and you have to ask yourself do you see here's a mavia breaking those previous all-time highs well my answer personally is yes because of what they're building what they have going on if you can actually play their game it is live so here's a mavia uh, if we take a look at it, it is kind of like a Clash of Clans, heavily inspired mobile game that is live right now on both Android and iOS. Uh, I'm sure you can play it on PC with like an emulator or something, uh, but it is live. You can play it. It's free to play. And if you like Clash of Clans or these kind of like base building, base management kind of games, then give it a shot. Uh, worst case, you try it for a little bit. If you don't like it, delete it log off it costs you no money but i like heroes of mavia and they did just recently go live with the ruby marketplace which you can get ruby in the game it's a soft currency just in the game uh but you can get it by you know either defending your base attacking other people's bases you know three starring them uh and you know so forth or completing missions i believe or objectives and then you can redeem those rubies for nfts skin in the game which up until now i don't believe necessarily had a a redemption like monetary cash value but we'll be taking a look at that here recently but either way that's kind of the gist of what heroes of mavia is if you're again at all familiar with clash of clans even if you haven't played it i'm assuming if you're you know i've been around for the last you know 10 or so years you've probably heard of clash of clans or have known someone who has played it that's what i'm assuming here but if we take a look at what's going on with heroes of mavia they are they just put, put out this tweet you know here recently saying that uh as of june 13th they're going to be announcing more about this but i want to bring it to your attention early on we'll do a recap video after they put out the whole like statistics and everything uh but they did want to say that they're officially announcing that phase two next frontier will include the ability to convert ruby to mavia and mavia to ruby so that could be that could be potentially the earning mechanism in the game is that now people can redeem it for mavia token and i'm Assuming that you can extract the Mavia token into your wallet to then sell uh, either on a DEX or exchange is what I'm assuming is how that kind of uh, that money or the potential to play and earn could actually be in their ecosystem. So now we're seeing, you know, for the first little couple months there, there was zero Ruby like redemption or redeeming or earning potential within the game. Uh, even up until now, up until redeeming it till Mavia, I don't believe that you could trade Ruby for really any kind of money value, you know, necessarily to cash out. Uh, so hopefully you've just been stacking your uh, Ruby because now it potentially could pay off. Uh, so if we see here, it says, you know, in a sustainable way that grows the game and the Mavia ecosystem together without the hyperflation and negative effects seen in many other play to earn games. Be interesting how they are going to go about that because they say a full breakdown of the model will be shown on June 14th. I believe that's Friday of this week uh, with the full reveal of Mavia phase two next frontier again. We'll circle back to this, but I want to make this video now because I think at these levels, for what Heroes of Mavia is doing, I think these are very, very aggressive dips and potentially good entry points for DCing. Uh, whether you have a bag or you're looking to get a position, if you want my opinion, again, nothing I say is, is financial advice. Just letting you guys know, 
I think these are pretty good levels. I mean, we're seeing it retrace pretty heavily back to where it roughly started out on the open market again earlier this year. Uh, and we saw this thing again run up to $10, $300 million in market cap. Uh, and we see that their supply is 14%. They've actually gone ahead and reduced token emissions by 80% from between now and February 2025. So I believe there might be 1% more of supply that hits circulation, if that. Uh, so really no dilution is going to be occurring between now and February 2025. So a lot could happen. A lot of bullish price action could happen right there. So knowing that, knowing that they have a what well, could be nobody knows until it happens but could be a potential successful play to earn economy with an earning potential within its game could help bring a lot of attention onto heroes of mavia if it's lucrative uh and the fact that it is a game on base i think you know games that are building on you know the base chain are going to be pretty huge because i think base is going to be one of the hottest blockchains this cycle, obviously, there's a lot of hype around it. It's the new kid on the block. It hasn't seen a cycle before. It has Coinbase backing, obviously. Coinbase is like the normie, quote unquote, quote unquote, exchange. Uh, a lot of people use it. Even veterans, you know, in the space, use it for on ramping and off ramping. So Coinbase, you know, obviously makes a lot of sense having the base chain. Uh, so I think there could be a lot of liquidity that shifts onto that chain and finds projects like this. So I think you know you have the base narrative going for here's a mafia. You have crypto gaming, mobile gaming and a potential earning mechanism within their economy if they do it right. I'm really curious, as most people will be, obviously, of how this is going to be broken down, how the money flow or the transforming is going to go within their ecosystem, because that's obviously going to play a big part uh, if it's going to be successful or if it's just going to be not really that lucrative, uh, because you know a lot of DGENs want to flock to games that are lucrative, because otherwise... If you can make more just staking your tokens on like some kind of, you know, DeFi protocol instead of putting hours into the game, obviously, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That's why I think we saw games like last cycle, like Axie Infinity really kick off. Uh, even Peg Axie, Krabata, you know, there was a huge earning potential. But uh, they also do say that they have their, it looks like Headquarters 7, uh, that or maybe one above coming for, probably one above coming for the next phase, next frontier uh as well so either way guys uh i think it's you know pretty exciting uh again they keep hinting at the next frontier you know for the fact they also say mavia token integration ruby wagered matches web marketplace uh, as well a lot going on here within this ecosystem you love to see it uh and again you have the you know the token dilution being changed uh they're on base chain all these updates and they also have i think the highest active users as far as mobile gaming goes in web 3 a lot of bullish stuff and i think that it is probably going to be a no-brainer to break its previous all-time highs of 300 million as far as market cap goes i think it crushes uh ten dollars honestly i really do i can see here's my view trading at around you know maybe 30 to 50 dollars you know in the bull run and that could be conservative that could be over bullish let me know in the comments below that's just my opinion uh but i do have high conviction in here as a mafia i think there is strong potential here so if you're looking for more of a solid mid cap in the gaming space uh you know something that's not so degen maybe uh so to speak but again i think it is on a pretty good dip uh and i don't even to be quite honest i'm not too sure what sparked this massive dip other than the overall market uh, i don't think it was anything specific that you know here's mavia or the team or anyone was doing personally i think the big dip really was just caused by like the overall market sentiment that's my opinion so i fully expect this to bounce at least back over 100 million uh in no time that's my opinion let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of heroes of mafia do you have conviction do you kind of write it off uh let me know either way if you guys want to get into a conversation or want to join a small community of like-minded people you can bounce questions off each other and kind of you know get some other people's opinions on some of your favorite projects uh you consider subscribing or joining my free discord linked below appreciate everyone that's in there i like talking to all you guys uh, and I really appreciate it. And otherwise, if you've got value out of today's video, if you guys can like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. See you guys.